Good afternoon and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Eliza Lennon here with today's top stories. Today is midterm election day. Voting is taking place for Syracuse's congressman and governor of New York State. And the race between Congressman John Katko and Dan Maffei has been very competitive to this point. Republican, Republicans need six seats to gain control of the Senate. This would be the first time the Republicans had control of Congress since 2009. Registered Syracuse students can vote at Bird Library until 9 p.m. tonight. Be sure to tune into your Citrus TV tonight at 8 for an hour-long live election special. Forty students spent last night in Kraus Heinz Hall to protest diversity and transparency issues. This followed the rally outside of Hendricks Chapel yesterday. Students plan to stay until Thursday, and the only time they're leaving is to go to class. Students are upset with the lack of communication from administration about decisions on the budget and campus services. The rally is held by the general body, which includes over 50 student organizations. Watch Essay Today live at 6 for a panel of the general body representatives. Syracuse's men's soccer team is now number one in the country. The team earned the top ranking after winning against Boston College in double overtime on Friday. Syracuse has been in the top 10 for the past five weeks, but a tie and a loss from the number one team, UCLA, moved them up. Syracuse will play the winner of the Duke and North Carolina State game on Sunday. The quarterfinal will be held here at the soccer stadium at 1 p.m. Today was cloudy but warm with a high of 69 degrees. Tonight there will be a low of 50 degrees and an 80% chance of rain. For tomorrow you can expect it to be partly cloudy and a little cooler with a high of 56 degrees. That's all for today's Citrus TV News Brief. Tune in for Essay Today live at 6 and at 8 for the election special. I'm Eliza Lennon. Have a great night, Syracuse.